Hello, this is John Canalopoulos uh, from Athens, Greece, clinical professional ophthalmology at NYU Medical School. This is a new technique. This is a 40-something-year-old um, lady that has about two doctors of hyperopia, and these are her preoperative pentagams. These are epithelial maps, and we're going to do something very different here due to her dryness and trying to do a simpler procedure. We're introducing a minimally invasive hyperopic PRK where the epithelial removal is here with the OptiView maps calculated on how much epithelium needs to be removed. We saw an average of uh, 50 microns at the diameter of uh, six to nine millimeters where the hyperopic correction with the laser is. We're gonna calculate, and here's the eye of this lady uh, under the uh, EX500 eczema laser by Alcon. We're trying to equilibrate the hydration of the surface, not dry too much, and this is a dry Wexel. So as I was saying, we calculated how much of a hyperopic correction is needed to meet those 50 microns of epithelial removal and we add it to the hyperopic correction we want to treat in the stroma. So we ended up with a plus 275 correction added to the two diopteric hyperopic correction that we want to treat. So we dialed in the laser plus 475. And we're treating here on the epithelium with the X500 eczema laser. We're engaging the laser. This is a straight uh, hyperopic correction, no cylinder. So secretation is not as important. You can see here we're sculpting through the epithelium, making this a transepithelial treatment. This is real time. You can see we're past Bowman's. So now the actual refractive effect in the stroma takes place. And you can see how we're preser preserving all the central epithelium and all the epithelium outside the hyperopic correction. Uh, we're making sure the hydration is uh, homogeneous during this uh, ablation. Small amount of astigmatism treated. And now we're going to go with myomycin C and expose just the area of stroma that was treated. Remember, the central cornea is untouched. And this is a transepithelial, minimally invasive PRK. It has no pain at all because the central cornea is not treated. Of course, we treat with uh, Bronfenac for the first day. The bandage lens, uh, it epithelializes between day two and day three. And this is the great advantage of this procedure. And the refractive effect is immediate. So we're going to place a um, contact lens uh, with a low base curve, A3286, uh, right here. Following rinsing with uh, chilled uh, BSS, we treat it with uh, 0.02 binomycin C for 30 seconds. Chilled BSS, see this is probably the only uncomfortable part of the procedure for the patient. Bronfenac drops and uh, an antibiotic and antibiotic corticosteroid combination. We're going to place our bandage lens, which has been soaked in bronfenac solution. We use Yellux in Europe, which is a little bit higher concentration than the pro lens are used in the U.S. Here's the lens in place. We're done. Patient is 20-20 uncorrected. This is a year later. You can see the two diopteric refractive effect. Mean corneal power 43. It was 41 pre-op, and how this holds true through a year effect. This is the epithelial maps postoperatively. And we can see how the epithelium remodels to uh, cover a little bit more of the hyperopic uh, correction. A very happy patient, a very new procedure, again pushing the barrier of doing minimally invasive refractive surgery. This is John Canalopoulos. I hope you found this presentation interesting. Signing out. Thanks so much.